Welcome, and thank you for spending some time with us on the introduction of Synopsys' next-generation FPGA-based prototyping system. In this short demo, we will guide you through the overview and discuss the many benefits and capabilities of the new HAP70 system. We are very excited to introduce the HAP70 series enabling the most comprehensive and fully integrated prototyping solution featuring up to 3x performance increase, a scalable prototyping system up to 144 million ASIC gates to accommodate individual IP blocks to complete SOCs, and accelerates multi-FPGA partitioning by up to 10x to automate design logic partitioning and e-system bring up. Now let's take a closer look of the system hardware. The HAP70 system is based on a modular and scalable system for software development, hardware software integration, and system validation. The HAP70 system can support designs from 12 million ASIC gates up to 144 million ASIC gates by interfacing multiple HAP70 systems together. What you are seeing is the HAP70 S48 system that supports up to 48 million ASIC gates. The HAP70 S48 system is assembled with four single Vertex 7 2000 TFPGA modules which is surrounded by 23 high-speed HAPSTRACT 3 I.O. connectors per module. Users will have access to over 1100 I.O.s that are routed from the FPGAs to these HAPSTRACT 3 connectors. From the top side of this HAP70 S48 system, Users can then use interconnect cables to communicate between FPGAs within the system or with other systems. Users can interface with the HAP's portfolio of daughter boards such as DDR3 and SRAM, or users can build their own custom daughter boards to interface with the HAP70 system. On the bottom side of the HAP70 system is the control module for configuration, system and clock setup, and the universal multi-resource bus interface, or UMR bus. For clock synchronization between multiple HAP systems, there are clock connectors that are easily accessible. And then also, from the bottom side, users will have access to the high-speed transceivers through the MGB connectors. Now let's take a closer look of how a typical setup of the HAP70 S48 system will look like. What you see now is a host system connected to the HAP70 system via a uh, the universal multi-resource bus, a UMR bus that is pointed there. Uh, that is then connected through the uh, CDE interface or the configuration and data exchange interface um, on the HAP70 S48 system. Uh, what we're also showing are the different coax connectors of clocks that if you want to have input uh, or output clocks available, those are also accessible. Uh, on the top side of this S48 system are then typical interconnect cables that you would be using to interface between the FPGAs of this HAP70 S48 system. You can see now how a particular cable uh, are secured properly or secured down onto this S48 system. Okay. So which then would allow users to easily deploy these to the software development team. Okay. So you can see here there's tip how typical cables would be routing uh, between the FPGAs. You also see here is a daughter board that is uh, connected directly onto one of the HAPSTRAC 3 connectors. So this is kind of a, a, a typical setup of how you would interconnect the cables and how you would connect a HAP system to uh, an S48. Before the hardware setup, the first step is to implement your RTL design with Synopsys' FPGA-based prototyping software flow. First, load the RTL design files and prototype system definition files, in other words, the BOR file, into the multi-FPGA design environment called Certify. Based on the project's requirements, configure the certified project with implementation options window. In this window, users can select which HAP system is used for a particular project. In our demo, we selected the HAP70 S48 system as well as selecting a multi FPGA debugging option. To demonstrate the tightly integrated prototyping flow, you can launch the synopsis identify for multi FPGA distributed instrumentation for debug purposes. You can then instrument your design by configuring the sample depth and triggering engine. Select sampling clock, signal to sample, and then save your project. Identify will then take care of the rest.
The next step is then to run the partition preparation task. You will then drag and drop your RTL modules to different FPGAs or let Certify do the automatic partitioning for you. You launch high speed time domain multiplexing or HSTDM configuration interface to group signals and select the desired TDM ratio according to your design needs. The demo design that we set up is configured to run HSTDM at 1 gigabits per second. You then assign traces corresponding to the physical connections available in your HAP70 system, including the interconnect cables and daughter cards. Now you are ready to generate simplified projects for each FPGA. Click the GUI button for source level partitioning SLP generation and follow the instructions. Certify now generates all necessary project files and folders for Simplify to synthesize. You can now launch Simplify for each FPGA. After clicking the big run button, you can sit back and relax while Simplify and the Xilinx Place and Route software works to synthesize, place and route, and generate the necessary FPGA bit files. Once the FPGA bit files are ready, Use the new HAPS Aware Bring Up utility to verify hardware setup for clock configuration, voltage settings, cable connections, and HSTDM performance. You can see that the Bring Up utility is configuring the Vertex 7 2000 T FPGAs using the UMR bus interface. Once you have configured the FPGAs on the system, you can then start utilizing your design for prototyping purposes or start a debug session with Identify Debugger. In Identify Debugger, you can configure trigger conditions according to your debugging needs. Zoom in and out to view the capture waveform showing signals sampled from different FPGAs in the same window. The lower right corner of the screen shows the eye pattern captured from one HSTDM LVDS signal pin running at 1 gigabits per second. All of the HAP systems, including the HAP70, go through a rigorous production test process to provide the most reliable and optimized system for our customers. To summarize, the new HAP70 system offers up to 3x performance increase, a scalable prototyping system up to 144 million ASIC gates to accommodate individual IP blocks to complete SOCs, and it accelerates multi-FPJ partitioning by up to 10x to automate design logic partitioning and e-system bring-up. Thank you for watching.